question is very important. Why are you discriminating from people of one state and people of other? And your lordships would be shocked when I, I show the discrimination. We have, we have analyzed, my lord, how the provisions were selectively picked up, modified, and applied to one state. And I am not saying that my power is taken away or state's power is taken away. So far, the residents of Jammu and Kashmir were being deprived of what I will show to you a lot. Till 19, till 5th of August 2009. The Honorable Sri N. Gopala Swami Ayyengar, he replies, the discrimination is due to special conditions of Kashmir. That particular state is not yet ripe for this kind of integration. It is the hope of everyone here that in due course, even Jammu and Kashmir will become ripe for the same sort of integration as has taken place in case of other state. Cheers. At present, it is not possible to achieve that integration. There are various reasons why this is not possible. Now, I shall refer again to this later. Please note this, but then after acceptance of 370, B. Shankar expressed his disappointment at the passing of the special provision. Sardar Patel summoned him to lunch. The description of the same meeting in my reminiscences of Sardar by Vishnu Shankar is as under. His principal secretary who was secretary Jammu and Kashmir and became the cabinet secretary. Please note, my lord, read one by one, my lord, beautiful words. As soon as I was seated, Sardar spoke. So you are annoyed with me for having accepted Gopala Swami's formula. I queried that if he felt that way, why did he not indicate his mind earlier? He said, I was, see the maturity of the man and the statesmanship. I was deeply concerned at the situation. Gopala Swami had acted under Panditji's advice. If Jawaharlal were here, we could have had it out of him. But how could I do so with Gopala Swami, who was only acting under orders? If I did, people would have said that I was taking revenge on his confidence when he was away. Gopala Swami had appealed to me for help. How could I have let him down in absence of his chief? Since my prime minister is not present, I will not let him down since my prime minister is outside, out, out of the country. I then asked why he had let down the country and other states whose constituent assemblies had been scrapped in accordance with his advice and policy. He conceded the validity of the criticism but pointed out the delicate international position of the state and the issue of its relationship with India. We felt that the present situation had to be tied over without giving up the eventuality and this had been done under the formula. Please note this, my lord. This only Sardar would have spoken. And now, Lord, it has proved to be Lord prophetic. He said that after all, neither Sheikh Abdullah nor Gopala Swami was permanent. The future would depend on the strength and guts of the Indian government. This is not a political issue. And if we cannot have confidence in our strength, we do not deserve to exist as a nation. I may just seek the permission of the government. Lord, uh, 43 bottom. In the course of discussions regarding federalism in India during the Constituent Assembly, Jaspat Roy Kapoor, representing United Provinces, commented, I wish, I only wish that Kashmir should also oh, have... you are reading page? Uh, 44. 44. Page 43, last date, my lord. This is Constituent Assembly debates, CCD document volume 8, PDF. I have quoted for your lordship's easy reference. In the course of discussion regarding federalism in India during the Constituent Assembly, Jaspat Roy Kapoor, representing United Provinces, commented, I only wish that Kashmir should also have been brought in on the same level as other states, but unfortunately, much to our dissatisfaction and chagrin, if I may say so, this would not be done. This is a delicate subject, and I will not say anything more on this. But please read this for now. This is very, very important and in my respectful submission, the answer, my lord, lies here. What happened to Jammu and Kashmir, its sovereignty, external, internal, my lord, the difficulty is, the petitioners are confusing in my understanding, internal sovereignty with autonomy. External sovereignty, my lord, nobody can dispute that it is with the Union of India. Internal sovereignty in the facts of our case and 
in the constitutional structure which we have accepted would mean autonomy of the federating units and which autonomy is there with every state there are so that it's actually there with every institution every institution is autonomous so that's not I mean, we have the we have the autonomous authority to decide a constitutional yes, issue so we can't say that internal sovereignty rests with us yes. we are in we are an independent autonomous yes. institution yes. under the constitution we are confusing the word autonomy with internal sovereignty there is no internal sovereignty except that mr solicitor what they are i mean to to paraphrase their argument fairly what they are saying that look we gave up external sovereignty there is no doubt about it they say that we have acceded to the indian union that's irrevocable but they said that the force of events the adoption of 370 would indicate that while we while there was a giving up of external sovereignty a modicum of internal sovereignty uh, which was exercised by the then maharaja that was not ceded to the indian union that seems to be the line of, of uh, submission mother and my respectful and therefore they are relying on various judgments of our court to indicate indira gandhi uh, indira nehru raj uh, indira uh, nehru gandhi versus rajnayan to indicate that sovereignty has an external component it has an internal component also Different context but well, well i i i assist your lordships on that fine by in your turn you can explain yes, that uh, yes, yes. that line of uh, yes. we are really on the list of dates you can go ahead yes. but 25th 11 1949 Yuvraj Karan Singh issued a proclamation for the state of Jammu and Kashmir for a given the pagination by which he declared and directed that constitution of India shortly to be adopted by the constituent assembly of India to govern the constitutional relationship between the state and the contemplated union of India and shall be enforced in the state by him his heirs and successors in accordance with the tenor of its provisions the same proclamation is worth quoting in full whereas with the inauguration of the new constitution for the whole of india now being framed by the constituent assembly of india the government of india act 1935 which now governs the constitutional relationship between this state and the dominion of india will stand repealed your lordship may kindly recall the instrument of accession was under government of india act and subsequently independence act and whereas in the best interest of this state which is closely linked with the rest of india by a community of interest in the economic political and other fields it is desirable that the constitutional relationship established between this state and the dominion of india should be continued as between this state and the contemplated union of india and the constitution of india as drafted by the constituent assembly of india which includes duly appointed representatives of this state provides a suitable basis for doing so i now hereby declare and direct that constitution of india shortly to be adopted by the constituent assembly of india shall but please mark this this is where mr they are highlighting and i will have to meet with in so far as it is applicable to the state of jammu and kashmir govern the constitutional relationship between this state and the contemplated union of india and shall be enforced in this state by me my heirs and successors in accordance with the tenor of its provisions that the provisions of the said constitution shall as from the date of its commencement supersede and abrogate all other constitutional provisions inconsistent therewith which are at present in force this is beyond any instrument of accession or merger this is accepting supremacy of our constitution and surrendering the sovereignty to the constitution where the sovereign is we the people of india no of course when he made this proclamation on 25th of november 1949 this is on the same day as dr ambedkar's last address to the constituent assembly the famous address to the constituent yes, assembly yes. so by this point of time the entirety of the constitution had been formulated including 370 right? including 370 and article 1 therefore when he makes this proclamation he makes this proclamation in the light of 370 which also is before him that's, that's, right correct. there can't be any doubt about that uh, be any doubt i i doubt it and he, he is also very clear that what he is doing at what stage and under what statute uh, what constitutional mechanism which is temporarily provided 